Okay, I'm working on uh, Dr. Stifler's uh, transmission of energy with uh, the one wire. And that's a little uh, thin uh, magnet wire. Uh, that's about 30 gauge. And I'm, I'm trying out parts, trying to replicate something that he's shown on uh, YouTube where uh, the energy comes across on one wire and lights up 48 LEDs and right here I've only got 19 but what I'm doing is trying out parts and uh, hopefully I can replicate exactly uh, what he's doing but I'm running this off a standard SEC circuit it's uh, not the circuit that uh, needs to be done in the pure replication of this but I wanted to try out certain things and see uh, see if it works and um, these little towers uh, transmitter and uh, the receiver down there get into a resonance and that wave goes down that wire and there's transmitted energy from these little uh, antennae here and lo and behold it lights up those LEDs and it lights them up pretty bright. Now I'm running this on 12 volts. He calls for 24 and like I say this is not a replication of his uh, video or his experiment but it it validates the principle. Let me show you here. Let me connect uh, connect this. Watch the lights down there. And there go the lights. And these, like I say, are being fired off with this one little thin wire right there. And then this antenna is um, receiving and transmitting I believe I think it's going both ways it's radio frequency I'm pretty darn sure and it's in the megahertz range and like I say that's I don't know 10 feet away and it, it'll go pretty much as long as you want it to go as long as it's line of sight I believe it's like VHF it's um, line of sight type of transmission and it's coming uh, it's coming through this circuit right here now the other day I was working with this and this will actually transmit wirelessly at about 24 inches which um, like I say this is a standard SEC exciter circuit and you can look it up and find out how to build that thing I did add one thing right here to it that's a filter capacitor that he uses in his uh, power supply circuit and on this particular circuit I had to use that it, it wouldn't work without that capacitor there and it goes between the positive and the negative rail and then uh, on the um, transmission of the energy across the wire I'm using the junction uh, the center tap on the transmitter coil going into the uh, bottom of the uh, receiver coil here and if you go to the energetic forum on his uh, uh, <coughs> high voltage from thin air you'll find out uh, all the information about this but that puts out a heck of a lot of light for the amount of energy that it's pouring out. And the other day when I was doing measurements, this was running at about 25 milliamps when it got into resonance. And it's a resonance between the two coils. These coils talk to one another <laughs> basically across a distance um, with uh, uh, radio frequency, I believe, and this one little thin wire. And that's all there is, is that one little thin wire. A couple of things I'm having lots of problems with is overheating that transistor right there and then the tuning with this particular tunable inductor. Now the other circuit uses a tunable capacitor and so far I'm having lots of trouble with that circuit but I'll, I'll eventually get it. But anyway, these transmitter and receiver towers, major winners. Anybody's got a SEC um, exciter, build a couple of these things and he has a detailed instructions uh, if you hunt for him on how to build these little uh, transmitter receiver towers and really a, a neat neat thing and um, I don't know I'm just real impressed with this the amount of uh, power that I'm getting out of that um, system is a pretty darn phenomenal for the amount that's going in and that's what this experiment was all about was to see the amount of usable energy that you're actually transmitting down that wire for the amount of energy that you're pumping in at this point here and that was the whole purpose of this uh, 
um, experiment was to, to actually build a replication exactly and do calculations on the amount of wattage going in versus the amount of usable energy coming out at the tail end. And my thought on this is what I'm looking for, and I'm sure everybody else is, is usable energy. What What is it that we can actually use at the tail end of this in the way of light versus what's coming out of the battery or the energy source at this end? And so far what I'm seeing here is very impressive. And I encourage anybody that's working on this project to keep plodding along at it, get your parts. I'm having to wait on parts for the real replication. but. Uh, this is encouraging.